guys, what's up? It's Amber and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here and if you are new here You should definitely subscribe today. I have an exciting video for you guys We are going to be doing an unboxing and it's a very special exciting unboxing that I don't know if you guys would be expecting because I have not tweeted about this at all or posted anything whatsoever hinting that I was going to do this video But today we are going to be unboxing the KKW Mrs. West collection. I am so excited to try this um, I've never tried anything from KKW Beauty before. Some of you may be surprised. I think that Kim's products are wonderful. I've seen so many great reviews about them, but I just never was like drawn to anything enough to purchase it. A lot of you guys know I use the same products constantly. I'm never really like switching anything up. I'll try new products that come out that catch my eye that I think I could incorporate into my routine, but otherwise I don't usually try new stuff. So I was just very drawn to this collection because it's very neutral. It's very like just classic and pretty. I was like, you know what? It's $100 for the entire collection. I feel like that's a good price point. So let's see if it lives up to its expectations. So if you guys wanna get into this box with me and see how Kim's new collection is, then just keep on watching. Let's unbox this baby. It's in a pretty large box. Compared to my face, it's like pretty large. Let's just dive right in. I'm taking my Paris Eiffel Tower scissors that I got from Target. These are so cute. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. It says KKW Beauty right here and it has this nude tissue paper, of course. Most of Kim's makeup products are very like nude themed. So this is what the box looks like. It is super cute, very beautiful and just very classy. I love it. It has her wedding photo on it and she's in front of the beautiful flower wall that you may recall if you've seen any of her wedding photos, there was a very beautiful like flower arrangement and she just looks so beautiful in her wedding gown. And her makeup just looks so natural and so beautiful. So on here it says Miss West collection down here at the bottom and then it lists every item that comes in here and it tells the net weight and size of everything and then on the back it tells each individual item and what it's made out of. It literally describes every single last ingredient and then down at the bottom it says it will expire in 12 months after opening. That is all of the information on the package. This is what it's looking like. I'm just gonna pull this out and this is what we've got has everything all nice and safe inside of this little piece of cardboard. It is so cute. I love the frosted packaging on the blush and the highlighter. Same with the lipstick. Let's begin to hop in. I will give you guys prices and then I'm gonna get ready with all the products. So in this collection, it comes with one highlight in the shade Forever. It comes with one blush in the shade Flower Wall, one palette and it is called the Mrs. West palette. Then we have the lip gloss, which is in the color Soulmate. And then we have lipstick, which is in the shade love and the lip liner that's in the shade love. I will warn you, a lot of you guys already know I'm not a gloss girl, so I don't know how I'll feel about the gloss, but I will definitely show you what it looks like. The collection in total was $100 before tax and shipping, but let me see what each individual item goes for. And the palette is way smaller than I imagined it would be. I didn't really know what to expect, but it is super tiny. It like will fit in the palm of my hand, which is kind of cool, good for traveling. The Miss West palette goes for $30. The Soulmate lip gloss goes for $18, as well as the Love Lipstick goes for $18. The Forever Highlight goes for $20. Forever Wall Blush goes for $18. And the Love Lip Liner goes for $12. I believe that is everything. So let's just hop into each individual item. Let me show you what it looks like. First we have the palette and it says KKW Beauty. And then on the back it has all of the shades. And I believe that they're in order as they would be like when you're looking directly at the palette. It gives you all of your information, of course, ingredients, expiration date, etc., etc. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like and it has a mirror. Thank God, I did not remember if in her snap it had a mirror. So this is ideally so perfect for traveling. If you are someone like me who travels a lot, usually when I travel, this is the palette I take with me. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy Extended Palette. And for me, this has like every shade I could ever possibly need. It has a nice large mirror. It is gonna be really nice to go from this to hopefully only needing to travel with this small little palette. These shades go Please Marry Me, Etched in Stone, Miss West, West, Field of Dreams, May 24th, and Just Married. They are all so beautiful. I love that there is a light pink. There's like a more dark nude colored pink. There's a brown. There's a very dark brownish color. Like it's really deep brown. Then there's a beautiful shimmery shade over here. That's the Miss West shade. And a beautiful highlight shade called Please Marry Me. I just think it's like a gorgeous arrangement of colors. I could see myself doing like all kinds of different looks with this. So I'm very excited to dive in and try this. We will see how they wear on the eyes. So 
next up we have the Soulmate lip gloss. This is what the packaging looks like, a nice nude cap, and the lip gloss looks like it's a pinky nude shade. And it has a nice sized applicator. That is always nice. I hate when lip gloss applicators are huge and then like my lips just look wet and gross. We'll see how this goes. I will, however, swatch this because I'm kind of curious as to what the color looks like. Ooh, and the consistency is interesting too. It's like pretty thick, which is nice. And it's rather sheer. It'll be really nice over the lipstick, I think. But I don't know if you can see from here. It's a very sheer, like almost like kind of coral pink nude. It's really pretty. So next up we have the Love Lip Liner. I will swatch this for you guys. So this looks like it's more of like a brown sort of shade. So let's see. I don't know if you guys can see that from all the way over there, but it is definitely more of like a mauve brown color. So that's interesting because I've never personally like gone for that kind of shade on my I am such a creature of habit like I only wear pinky nude lipsticks I am just so picky about how like my lips look so we'll see about this and then here is the lipstick in the shade love Same deal. It's in a frosted case. It is so cute. I love the frosted packaging like I will never get over that I will swatch the lipstick for you So the lipstick and the lip liner are two different colors, which is kind of interesting So the lipstick is this shade right here all the way on the end and it's more of like kind of a burnt orange slash pink Tone. So they're all three different which is kind of cool because I feel like layering them is gonna look really cool I love when the lip liner is a little bit darker than the lipstick because then for my sake Especially I feel like it makes your lips look a little bit bigger. I'm really happy about that I'm excited to see how that combo works next up. We have flower wall blush I was really excited to try this because I am a huge blush lover I love just like dousing my cheeks in blush and living my best life It's just one of my favorite parts of makeup. Of course again. It is the frosted theme it says kkw beauty on here in really simple lettering so this is what the blush looks like it is the most beautiful shade oh my god i am so obsessed with this it's even more beautiful in person this is like my favorite type of blush right here it's like a very warm pink color it is so gorgeous a warm nude i love that and then it has a mirror which again is really awesome i just enjoy things with mirrors and lastly one of the most exciting parts because i'm a highlighter girl is the highlighter and this is in the shade forever. I think that this is just so cute and like I just love that it's called forever. I just love the theme of like all of the names in this whole collection. So this is what the highlighter looks like and I'm so excited to dip into this. Oh my god it looks like just the perfect natural highlight but we'll see. Maybe we can like really load it up and like hopefully it's really pigmented. We will see. So that is everything in the collection. Now I am gonna go and get my face all prepped for makeup. I am going for a very natural look today because I do have a couple videos to film after this. If you guys want to see what kind of look I'm going to create with this collection, then just keep watching. I'm going to get a little bit closer for the makeup part so you guys can really see what I'm doing on my face. I am going to go ahead and prime my skin real quick and then jump right into my eyes and then we will let this sit and like come back to the foundation after. But I am starting off with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I have been obsessed with this primer. Holy sh**. And I usually take like the tiniest little bit, like a pea-sized amount, and I rub it between my fingers to warm it up. Jeffree Star was not exaggerating at all when he said this primer was so amazing, and I don't even remember how much it was. I feel like it was under $10 or around $10. I just used this primer every time I did my makeup when I was in Miami on vacation, and I sh you not, one night I was sweating so profusely. Beads of sweat were literally dripping off my face. And when I got back to the hotel that night, my makeup looked flawless. I looked in the mirror and I was like, is this real? I couldn't even believe it. So if you guys ever are looking for a primer, try to go find this one. You will not regret it. And also, if you're wondering what foundation I used with it, I used the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation mixed with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. Primer is on, so now I'm gonna go ahead and tape my eyes because that is what I do when I do eyes eyeshadow. Believe it or not, this is actually a trick I learned from Kylie Jenner way back in the day. I feel like it just makes the most beautiful shape of your eye. Like you can control how the eyeshadow like looks. I don't know. I'm not good at explaining things. Sorry. Okay. So now that my eyes are all taped down, I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny little bit of the Jeffree Star concealer on my eye because this stuff a is so pigmented and B like it applies so much. If you put one little dab, like so much product comes off, which is great. I emphasize. Use the littlest bit and you can spread it out all over your eye. 
And I just pounce this in with a beauty blender and it works just wonderfully for me. And this is what I do regularly. I'm gonna do all the steps the same so that we can give this a fair review, but I will not lie, I'm expecting it to be great because I feel like, especially where this is like her wedding collection, I don't think Kim would mess around at all. Once the eyes are all primed and ready to go, I am going to be first diving into this shade right here in the middle on the top row and it is called Etched in Stone. I'm just gonna be dipping right in there, getting a good amount because you never know with eyeshadows how pigmented they'll be. And I'm just gonna be using this to set my concealer and I'm just gonna be packing this all over the lid. This shade is either like the same color of my skin and it's like really hard to show up or it's just like really, really sheer. There's that, that's my first impression of it. It's very light and just a little more on the sheer side, which is fine. Like I'm just using this to set my lid. I would never use this as like the focal point of the look, you know? Like I feel like it's a very basic shadow that you can just use to like set your concealer or to like put in your inner corner to make your inner corner a little lighter. I do feel like you need to grab a lot. I don't mind at all. Sometimes you gotta like really dig in there. And there is a good amount of fallout. I know that bothers some people. Where this shade is so light and it's not like ruining the palette, I don't care. But if like the brown has a bunch of fallout, that will be a problem. Cause then it will like dirty this beautiful like beige packaging. All right, now that my lids are all primed, I'm gonna be taking my favorite crease brush. This is the MAC 217. And I am gonna be dipping into this shade right over here. It's like this pinky nude color. This this is in the shade Field of Dreams, I believe. I love this color. I'm very drawn to colors like this. I like to put it in my crease and then like bring the leftover product that's on the brush just like in my outer corner and kind of like rub it on the outer part of my lash line. I really like that it's pigmented but it's not overwhelming so it's really good for people who maybe like basic makeup and don't want like a wicked intimidating shadow that they like put down and it's like dark right in their crease. At least this you can really like build it up. It's so fun to play with makeup. It's been like a while since I've actually sat here and like played with new makeup with you guys. I feel like just because life has been so crazy and if you have not seen my makeup as a waitress video you should go check that out because I basically caught you guys up on like everything that's been going on in life. So once you have the desired amount of shadow in your crease this is how much I like. I really like how this is looking so far. Now I think I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's the brown shade in the bottom middle and I believe that one is May 24th right here. I think I might want to use this one to deepen up my outer corner and then I think I'm going to go in with this and make like a little bit more of like a liner look with it. I think I'm going to use a more like tapered pointy crease brush and I'm just going to tap 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 into this brown shade because it looks really pigmented and I am going to just lightly start brushing that on. Okay I guess it's not as pigmented as I thought. I'm going to grab a little bit more and there is a lot of fallout on the darker shades unfortunately but that's okay. So I'm just like shading this into my outer corner to make it a little bit darker because I'm all about the cat eye look. I really enjoy how my eye shape looks with like a wing, not like a liquid liner wing, but with like a very delicate, like very light um, wing that you can make with a shadow because I feel like it's less intense than liquid liner. And as you guys know, I don't like intense eyeshadow on myself. I'll do it for fun. And also you guys saw my friend Lexi came on my channel and like decked my face out with makeup, which was really cool because it's not something I typically do. But on the regular, I don't like too much eyeshadow. I like really simple eyeshadow, which is why I am just like in love with this palette. Oh my God. The colors blend really nicely together. Like I'm just messily laying this down. I'm not even like, I was planning on going in with a blending brush and like blending it out to make it look a little bit more airbrushed and like natural, but I might not even have to. Okay, so I think that's enough of that color. And now I'm gonna take this brush that I was just using with the shade Field of Dreams, and I'm just gonna use that to like lightly blend out the brown. So I think that's good for now. Now I'm gonna be going in with this much darker brown shade, and this one is called Just Married. I am gonna be taking this on a fat, fluffy brush. I'm gonna clean it first though, it's a little dirty. And I'm just very lightly laying this on my lash line in my outer corner as a liner. So now now that I have that liner laid down, I'm gonna go back in with a tiny bit of the shade May 24th right here, and I'm just gonna like kind of blend that out a little bit. Okay, now it is time for the final reveal for the eyes. I like. I do. I think my eye shape looks nice. There is a little bit of fallout down here that came out under the tape, but I'm gonna be putting some makeup on my lower lash line anyway, so that is fine. But I am really, really happy with the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette 
is a yes. I'm gonna go quickly apply my Wet n Wild foundation and my Jeffree Star concealer, and then I'm gonna set my face, and then I will come back to try out the rest of the products. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and did foundation, concealer, bronzer, all that fun stuff, and now we are going to be diving into some of the last few items in this collection. Now we're gonna go in with the blush and highlighter. Oops, wow, I just caught that. I am so good. First, I'm gonna be going in with Flower Wall. This is the blush, and I'm so excited to wear this. Seriously, I've been looking forward to this the most out of the whole collection, I think. I'm gonna be dipping right into this blush, and here we go. Ooh, girl, that is so beautiful. It's so light, so light. Like, I don't know if you can tell. I'm dipping it a little bit more, and I'm putting it right on the apples of my cheeks. I can tell in person it's there, but it is the most, like, subtle, beautiful pink color. I love it. I actually have a wedding coming up, my best friend Margot's wedding, and um, your girl is like most definitely bringing this whole collection with me. Okay, so that is it for the blush. I love it. I think it's so pretty. I love how it looks on me. Now I'm going to be going in with the highlighter. This is the Forever Highlighter, and I'm so excited for this. I have been looking forward to this moment for so long. I'm just going to pick up a good amount of this, and it looks like it's coating the brush well. That is it, like that is it right there. Can you see that guys? It is gorgeous. I feel like this is one of those highlighters too that will look so pretty on any skin color. It's so pretty, I love it. I'm so happy with this, oh my God. And I love to put highlight on my nose, you guys already know. I feel like my nose just looks like cute when it's highlighted. Okay, and now I'm gonna put some under my brow, which I probably shouldn't have used this brush for that. I usually use a different brush. And then I like to put some up here on my temples. And of course, on my upper lip and my chin. I'm so excited about this. I can't even believe it. Also, I realized I used every shade in here except for the two highlighting shades. I'm gonna add a little bit more highlight on my brow bone and I'm gonna be using this shade right here. It's called Please Marry Me. And I'm gonna take this with a more like dense buffing eye brush and I'm just gonna place that right under my brow bone. Wow, that's pretty, especially on top of the other highlighter. So maybe I'm also going to hit my inner corner with that. So I'm just wetting a flat shader brush and then I'm just going directly in with this shade. Yay, that is so pretty. That is almost everything. Now I just have to go in with the lip products here, the lipstick, the lip liner, and the lip gloss. Okay, so that is the lip liner applied. I did the best I could. My lips are small. It's really hard to line them, especially with dark colors. So don't make fun of me, don't drag me. So now I'm gonna go in with the lipstick that is in the shade Love, and it is so pretty. I don't even wanna ruin it, it is so pretty. It has been so long since I've used an actual lipstick. I feel like I'm a kid again. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I don't like the combo. I feel like they just don't look good together. I feel like they're kind of like the edges of my lips kind of look like a nasty brown color and then like the middle looks pink. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I am going to go ahead and put the lip gloss right over top and see if that makes any sort of difference. Ooh, the gloss is like really pretty. I am not a gloss girl, but the gloss is pretty and I'm just putting the gloss in the middle of my lips. All right, you guys. So now I'm just going to go ahead and go back in and put mascara on and throw a little bit of this color down in my lower lash line and I will be right back for the final thought. Alright you guys, so this is the final look of my makeup using the KKW Mrs. West collection. My final thoughts are honestly really good. I am so happy I bought this collection from the eyeshadows, the highlighters, the lipstick, even the lip gloss. I loved everything. My favorite part I'd have to say is probably the blush. I'm really obsessed with the blush, but I really, really enjoyed the eyeshadow palette as well. I'm super happy that it has a mirror. I love the size. It's so little, like it literally can fit in my hand. I love every single shade. I used every single shade in this palette, which is crazy. If you guys liked this look, please let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. I am like really pleasantly surprised. Let me know how you guys like my makeup. Do you like how it came out? Do you think it looks better than normal? Do you think it looks the same as when I use my other products? I'm really pleased. So yeah, that is it for this video and for this review and unboxing. And make sure you are subscribed if you're not already so you never miss a video. And yeah, that is it. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.